Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make some homemade creamy mushroom soup. Now this stuff is way better than anything you're going to find in a can at the grocery store. It's fresh. The, it's all real ingredients. There's no fillers, additives, thickeners, nothing artificial. And it's delicious. I tell you, once you make this, you're never going to buy another can of soup again. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Why did the fun guy leave the party? because there wasn't much room. <laughs> to get some really great flavor into our soup, I'm going to start off here with a diced onion. To make short work of this, we're gonna make some horizontal cuts first, and then we'll finish it up with some vertical cuts, and then we can slice away, and, and most of our work is done at that point. Then I like to run my knife through it one more time just to get it all even. Next, we're gonna add some fresh garlic to this. Now, not only is this gonna add some great flavor to this soup, but it's also really good for you, right? It helps improve your immune function and then helps prevent those colds and flus that are going around right now. So remove all the paper from the garlic as you see me doing here, and then we're going to chop it up nice and fine. And then we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. Now, the reason you want it to sit for 10 minutes is because garlic contains an enzyme called allicin. When you chop up the garlic, that breaks the cells and releases the allicin. So that's why you want to chop it up first. So I chop the garlic nice and fine like this, and then we'll place it in a dish and let it rest for 10 minutes. That way we can get the most benefits out of our garlic. Now, who doesn't want that? We're also going to prep up some fresh thyme. With the thyme, you're just going to peel off the little petals, and then we'll just chop it up nice and fine. Fresh thyme is more subtle in flavor, but if you want to use dried thyme, I would use about half as much. So two teaspoons of fresh or one teaspoon of dried. Another delicious herb we're going to add is some fresh Italian parsley. This really adds some great flavor. We'll slice off a few leaves here and remove some of those stems, chop it up, and we'll have it ready to go. Now, since this is mushroom soup, well, we need to add our mushrooms. So I'm using organic cremini mushrooms here, but feel free to use any type you want. You can mix and match them together. They all can work. I'm gonna give these a rinse in the cold water and I'm gonna rub the dirt off that's on them. Don't forget, you can find the written recipe below the video in the description area. So we'll pour these out onto a paper towel and then we'll pat them dry. Hey, if you're enjoying this video and you wanna let me know, hit the like button. So now I'm going to slice the mushrooms into, you know, a nice thin slice and I'll trim off the stem just a little bit if it looks bad. Once all your mushrooms are chopped up like this, then you're going to place them in a bowl and we're going to head on over to the stove. So what's the best oil to use for cooking? Olive oil, of course. We're adding some of that to our pan. Once that oil warms up and we're on medium heat here, then we'll add our onions. I'm going to saute these for about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Here's our onions after 10 minutes, and they're nice and soft. Now it's time to add the garlic. So we'll add the garlic and saute it for just one minute. We want to keep that moving the whole time so it doesn't burn. It's time for those mushrooms to join the party, so here we go. Add those in, and if it's a little dry, add a little more olive oil if you need it. Mix the mushrooms in and try and get them coated with the olive oil as well. We're going to cook these about five minutes and until the mushrooms get a little soft. To thicken our soup up just a tad, we're going to add a little bit of flour. Now you can use regular flour, but I'm using gluten-free flour here. We'll stir that in for about two minutes, cooking it, and then we'll add some wine. I'm adding some Chardonnay here, but any white wine will work. Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc would be a good substitute. Next goes some chicken broth, the fresh thyme, the fresh parsley. Then I'm gonna grab a fresh lemon, slice it in half, and we're gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice into our soup to brighten it up. I am now gonna transfer my soup to a stainless steel pan here because I'm gonna be using a stick blender to blend my soup and I don't wanna scratch my nonstick pan. I'm gonna season this with a little salt and pepper, and then we're gonna bring this to a boil then we're gonna lower the heat and we're gonna cover it and simmer it for somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes. It must be time for chef joke number two. Now pay attention. What's a ghost favorite soup? 
scream at my shroom. Here's our soup after it's simmered for 15 minutes. Now, if you like your soup chunky like this, you don't have to do the stick blender. You could leave it like this. I'm still gonna add some cream to this to make it a little more creamy. Now turn off the heat before you add the cream because the soup is plenty hot. So just stir that in really well. And now we're gonna go to the stick blender. And if you don't have a stick blender, you can always use a regular blender. Just let it cool a little bit before you add it to your container. This is your delicious, savory, creamy mushroom soup. This is such a delicious and creamy soup. It is great on its own. It's savory. It, it's got some really depth of flavor. And you can also use it in any dish that requires creamy mushroom soup. To give it a little color, I like to top it with some more chopped parsley. And then you just dig right in and enjoy. Now here's some garlic bread that would go absolutely beautifully with this soup. You would love it. This is the best garlic bread recipe ever. Click the link on the screen. It'll take you right to the recipe. Thanks for stopping in today. If you enjoyed the recipe, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment. All right, I wanna hear if you're gonna try this. And if you do, let me know because I think you're gonna love it. We'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.